Suppose we have a string 2.4 meters long and it vibrates in the first, second, and third harmonic standing wave patterns. And I show these patterns below. So the first harmonic is when there's a node at either end and one anti-node in the middle. And you'll recall that if the length of the string doesn't change, this distance here in every case is the same. It's 2.4 meters. Then we get various wavelengths. As the frequency goes up, the wavelength gets smaller. And in the first one, you can imagine there's your equilibrium line for your wave right down the center. And really all I'm seeing is one antinode. And you recall one full wave contains a crest and a trough. So that's half a wave. So if the length is 2.4 meters, if we're looking at the first harmonic, the wavelength will be double that. 2 times 2.4. So the wavelength of the first one is 4.8 meters. Now in the second one, again, the length from here to here is still 2.4 meters. And in this case, if I look at this darker black line, I see a trough and a crest. So that is one full wave. So there, in our second harmonic, the wavelength is the length. So our wavelength is 2.4 meters. Now what about the third one? In the third one, we see that one full wave, if it starts right here, there's our first crest, there's our first trough, it ends right here, that's where it starts to repeat itself. You can see there's three sections of, of uh, anti-nodes in that particular standing wave. So two-thirds of the length is equal to one wavelength. So you could write that as an equation if you like. Two-thirds of the length of that string is equal to one wavelength. So my wavelength will be two-thirds of 2.4, which is 1.6 meters.